Hello my friend, today I'm gonna show you how to install a few plugs, a dryer plug and a HECMA plug. Yes, is this a recording? First thing to do is to check the breaker to see if they are off, just make sure it is off, don't try to play with it. So let's check the brake, make sure they are off. And then we start the process. The brake box is right here. What I look, I see this is the washer brake, it's a 220, it is off. And this is the one for the washer, so washer and dryer. Okay, let's do it. First, I'm just gonna do the ground wire. This one is uh, for it's for the ten gauge for the dryer plug. This one, and this one is a uh, fourteen gauge. You guys can see the difference for the ground. It's important that uh, the ground are the right gauge too. So before I go there, I'm just gonna just gonna. Wrap this guy right there. I'm gonna tighten up. You can see on the plug I have a little hook. I just, in this case, I just do this. There it is. I'm just gonna tighten up. Since we have a little hose on the back to pull the water in, so it would be not an issue, I'm just gonna tie the screws up. I don't like to see them uh, out this way. So I'm just gonna make sure they are in and flat. So, here we go, this is uh, for a regular plug. I'm just gonna cut the right size that I need more or less. It's gonna cut a little end of this. And then I have this wire in here. That's the 14 gauge. I'm just gonna stab it right on the back there. And right there. So I'm set to go. The way I'm gonna go with this is just like I like just a little bit piece of the black wire in here. I know it's no power in there. I can touch it so nice and tight. This other one. I will do the same thing. Nice and tight. Let me get another one here for this ground wire. Hold on a moment. everything in the box make sure they are not touch each other and there you go This is a, you can see the difference. This one would be four wires, right? 
or you can look this way. See, this is the ground, groundwater. And some of them, they are marked where they say the call of the wire. Like here they have X and Y, and here say the white, so like you guys can see here, we have wire, one white, one red, one black. Now oh, there's two here, we bring the 220 power, this one is for the make 110. And the process will be very much the same, so you guys can see the ground wire. We do a red saying there, right? Ground. You guys can see, bang. X and Y. So it's just like a. Here they say green. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. And they say white, so it's very, it's very hard to make a mistake. But if you guys have any doubt, just uh, ask for help and call an electrician. I just show you that is uh, green is for the ground, white is for the white, and this one doesn't matter which way it goes. Could go red, could go black, and uh, it would work the same, right? Oh, you guys get it? Not the same way. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put this uh, ground wire in there. You can see white, green, ground. Let's see my white wire. See how it is. In this case, I know that the, here is no no power. Let me do this guy because I'm hold this thing on the hand. Now what we have to do is just. Follow what is there, like X, Y, green, or oh, white, sorry. By code is a 10 gauge wire, so we have this is a, you see it is thick, it's a 10 gauge, put the dryer. Just make sure they will just stay there and then we just tuck it in. This is a sometimes it's just a, a cup of wire is a little bit hard to push it in but uh, you can just push it in one by one and make sure the ground is back there not gonna touch anything and you guys can see here, I don't know if you guys can see, the ground is screwed back down the box, the same way was this one. Now we're just gonna fit it in. It's a little bit hard. There you go. 
you guys can see here on the box it has the a place that you just push it in slide this one down put the other one in and tight it up I want the cap to turn this way because it's gonna be a stacker wash and dryer but if you if in case you need you can see here it has a few piece spot that if this doesn't work the way you like you can flip it around turn it around can use this for to put the screws this spot just so you can rotate any way you want like if the ground is not good this way you just can rotate the other way and you're good to go Thank you very much guys, I love you and we have a great video up there, if you want to keep informed just subscribe and see you soon.